Hey guys, welcome back to Triple Play Sports Picks. My name is Adrian. Go ahead and do me a favor, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. While we are at Triple Play, we were able to bounce back on Thursday, September the 30th, that we had a record of 2 and 1. So, with that being said, let's get to the recap. First pick we had was uh, over eight and a half runs for with the Yankees versus Blue Jays. And the final score was Yankees 6 and Blue Jays 2. I did mention that the Blue Jays did have the edge, but I wasn't going to go with it because a Yankees as an underdog could happen, you know, where they ended up winning. So that's why I went with the over eight and a half runs. And I did see a change to eight runs. So if you got it at eight runs, um, it's considered a push. So what that means for all you new sports bettors, that means that they canceled the bet and you got your money back. So that one was a loss. Now the second pick we had was another baseball game and it was a Dodgers versus a Padres. And on that one, we had the Dodgers run line at minus one and a half runs. And the final score for the Padres was three and the Dodgers eight. So that one cashed in easily because you're supposed to win with two or more runs for the Dodgers. So that one was a good hit. And then on the third one, I did mention that the Bengals should cover the spread at minus seven and a half, but I didn't go with that. I actually went with the teaser where it gives you additional six or seven points if you wanted to and it covered as well with the final score of jacksonville jaguars 21 and cincinnati cincinnati Bengals at 24 and when i caught the teaser it was at minus half point for the Bengals and over the total of 38 and a half points so that one went over for sure but <laughs> this is a funny thing about that teaser if you had picked the the Jacksonville Jaguars to um, do a teaser as well. They would have covered as well for the the points on the on the Jacksonville. So let's hope we have another winning day and here at Triple Play for Friday, October the first. It's crazy how time flies already. So with that being said, let's get to the picks for Friday. And man, we're just gonna focus on this last weekend of baseball. And today I'm feeling like there is gonna be maybe a one or two game upset, I would say. And let's get to the picks for today. So the first one I'm looking at is the Red Sox versus Washington Nationals. On the mound for the Red Sox is Eduardo Rodriguez, 11 and eight. 4.93 ERA on the mound for the Nationals is Josh Rogers, 2-1 with the 2.73 ERA. And on this one, I'm looking at the total and the Nationals. I'm looking at a, a few picks on this, on this game. So I am looking at a potential close game with the Nationals and the, and the Red Sox because Eduardo Rodriguez is a hit and miss type of pitcher and he does give up runs and the Nationals are at home and these guys, these Nationals always tend to score runs no matter who is on the mound. And the Red Sox are always looking like they're hit and miss as well as they did lose two out of three in Baltimore so you can't really trust these Red Sox as of late because they've been losing some important games, especially if they wanna get into the wild card spot. So what I'm doing here, I'm gonna do the plus one and a half runs for the Washington Nationals. And it is sitting at plus 105. And I'm also thinking that it's gonna go over the nine runs that they have it at. And one more pick, I am looking at the 
Nationals going over the total of three and a half runs, sitting at minus 115, which is pretty good. Or if you want to get to do the over four, it's sitting at plus 120. So I'm doing like three picks in that one game. All right. So second game I'm looking at is uh, Baltimore Orioles versus the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. And on the Baltimore Orioles, they I, they don't have they don't have an announced uh, pitcher yet, but on the mound for the Blue Jays is Steven Matz. His record is thirteen and seven with a three point eight eight ERA, and I feel like this one is going to be um, a lot of runs being scored because this Orioles can come out of nowhere as well. And I am doing the over ten runs. Yes, that is risky. But I do know that the Orioles do tend to hit off left-handed pitching. And the Blue Jays are going to come on swinging no matter what pitcher com comes up to uh, pitch for the Orioles. So for that reason, I am choosing the over 10 runs. And one stat I am going to point out to you guys is that uh, Steven Matz, when pitching against the Orioles, he did pitch 11 innings and he gave up seven runs against the Baltimore Orioles. So that's the reason why I'm also picking the over 10 runs. All right. Now the last and third pick is the San Diego Padres versus the San Francisco Giants. And it doesn't say the San Diego Padres uh, pitcher, but I believe it is Joe Musgrove. And on the mound for the Giants is Anthony Discafani, 12 and seven with their 3.26 ERA. Now on this one, I'm gonna take a shot at, at the Padres because Joe Musgrove has been really good for them. That's what I feel like he's their ace. Maybe he's now second place. And so for that reason, I am choosing the Padres money line and I'm doing the plus one and a half because there comes a time where a streak has to end. And I feel like it's probably time for the Giants streak to end, you know, and especially because Padres haven't looked good, I understand. But I know they're going to come out swinging. They're going to be desperate for a win. And for that reason, I am choosing the Padres. I'm just taking a couple extra um, picks for you guys. You know, you really don't have to tell them. But, or you could do the over eight runs. I do feel like it is going to go over the eight runs. Um, all these picks I'm choosing is for desperate matters. Because in each game, there's one team <laughs> that needs to step up, you know, especially if they want to keep uh, being in the playoff picture. So for those reasons, I did choose these um, MLB picks for you guys. And let me keep you guys updated on that um, wild card. And then the wild card for the American League, we have the Yankees up two games. And on the second and third spot now, since the Boston Red Sox did lose, lose last night, Boston Red Sox and Seattle Mariners are tied for the second wild card spot. And Toronto Blue Jays is only one game behind the Red Sox and Seattle. So it's going to be a crazy weekend. I feel like it's going to come down to the last game for the American League wild card team. Now for the for the National League wildcard team, it's still up in the air, um, but it's most likely, it seems like it's gonna be um, the Dodgers being the first place spot on the wildcard spot because Giants are up two games ahead of them in the division and there's only three games left in the season. So, We'll see how it goes for this weekend, guys. Let's hope for another winning day. Hopefully, you guys enjoy weekend uh, baseball because it is the last weekend for the baseball season. And 
Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Thanks, guys.